Uh, I kind of expected that one. I thought it was, I thought it, you know, that was exactly who I would have picked to put up on the block. Uh, Calista and Jamie? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, I, I could have mixed Sienna in the mix, but she, um, Sienna did have a, like a date with her the other day. Jamie hasn't had the date yet. Yeah. So, it's kind of like one of those two, but what do you think about Josh? I ain't gonna lie, they kind of like messed me up a little bit. Like, they can out there and stuff. Yeah. yeah, same, bro. Like, it's like, damn, dude. It's like, I don't have to do now. I'm frustrated because I feel like I've done a very good job being very respectful to Lexi and, like, doing what I can to, like, try to get her attention. But usually I don't, like, have to chase a girl. I, know, I usually never have to chase a girl. So this is, like, really, like, something new for me. I was, like, getting feelings for her, bro. Dude, like, same, bro. And then, like, ah. Uh, so... We we're we're at the cooking game, you know. Team Spicy wins. Josh goes on the date, and I'm looking out the window, and I see them all over each other in the hot tub, and I'm just like, dang. Yeah, that was, like, that was rough. I'm just like sitting here like, kind of KO'd right now. Like. <laughs> Same, bro. I feel like it's like. It's like like done already, you know what I mean? I'm about to cry myself to sleep tonight, boys. I'm not gonna <laughs> that was rough, that was rough. Josh is a great guy, you know? Don't have anything bad to say about him. But like, kind of just hurts you, cause like the girl you're going for, it's just like you see her and it's just like demotivating and just makes you just want to pack up and run. But you know, I'm a competitor, I'm in this to win. It's just turn my body cold. What's going on? Nothing. Can you tell me where it's from? I'm good. And they just said you're going through something. Well, they don't know. I just wasn't talking. They think I'm something's wrong because I wasn't talking. I'm just tired. Okay. So. Do you mind if I come upstairs with you? I left my nose ring in the boys' bathroom. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. I can't turn all right from wrong. You take a piece of my heart for the road. Look at the piece from there. I'm sorry, I'm just turning off. I'm good. Sure. Yeah. I'm alright. What's wrong? Nothing, I mean. Honestly, what's wrong? Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like the easiest thing in the world to see someone that you kind of like have feelings for make out with someone else. I know. To be fair. I know. It's not like, I mean, like, obviously, it's what we're here for, but it's like, you know, like normal me would just like act out and like go do some dumb stuff, but like, you know, that's like old me. I just don't really know how to handle it right now, to be fair. The house doesn't even know about this. We're getting out of the confessional and we walk outside right here in this hallway. Cause I can't, stop, I, I don't wanna kiss you. But I, I don't wanna kiss you. There's no cameras. And I, we just started, you know, making out. We get fancy. I've never been so fancy. Man, and I hit my head on this cabinet and it was so loud, the whole house heard it, so we just like sprinted out. And she told one story and I told another story and the stories didn't match up. And it was hilarious. Like, you know, we, we just laughed about it the next day. I know it's probably really hard for you seeing that, and I want you to know it's hard for me to like get in to know everyone and like having feelings for you and also like wanting to like feel out how it is with like Josh or like Sienna, you know what I mean? No, I mean, it makes sense. I get it. It's just like, damn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. damn. Makes you feel like you're getting played, but like, and I, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it makes me just want to, like, get up and run. Kind of put me in, like, a weird mood, you know? But I'm good. I'll be back down to hang out a little bit. I'm gonna shower, get my jammies on, and I'll be done. Okay. Go have my Keep your up. jammies on. Yeah. It is what it is. But we'll see how tomorrow goes. Keep a smile on your face. Stay positive.
it's day five and another team member bites the dust. But you know what? It's all good because I think that Lexi is making smart decisions. It just wasn't a chemistry match with Callista on top of everything that she kind of said yeah. throughout the house. And she wasn't biting on like the depth mm -hmm. that Lexi needed yes. in order to really go there and create a bond with her. Yes. She missed out on a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Do you have to call it? No, I mean, you don't have to, but. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's me. No, you're not stripes. You're not anything. You hit a stripe into a solid. You can't, I mean, it's still open. Oh, you can't do that? No. How was your day? That was pretty good. Tell me about it. So I read her the poem, it was very romantic. I set up the couch, like I took all the couch cushion, cushions off and put them on the floor, like in the couch. It was cute, I turned the lights off. I read her the poem, we were making out, I mean, it was very like intimate. It was a very hot moment, like there was a lot of emotions going on and I can tell through her, but I think I am really starting to fall for Lexi. But you know, there's more days. So you basically matched Josh. I think I did better than Josh. Think you did better than Josh? I think I did way better. Whoa. I mean, I didn't see what happened with Josh. That's but it a was, statement. It was... Better than Josh? Yeah. I think that definitely changed the dynamics of how our how we're gonna be interacting with each other because, like, no matter how good of a person you are, how much you're vibing with everyone else, it's about you and Lexi. Being that close and having that chemistry, it feels really real. Yeah. How are you? Feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm chilling. Yeah. But why is Rylan talking shit about me? I haven't done anything to her. I don't know what she's talking about upstairs. I have no idea. Like, that also makes y'all look bad because who else would I be flirting with in the house? Wait, what situation? Oh, she's still talking about... Yeah, like oh. me and you, me and Jamie. I feel like Tyler came in here acting one way and he's completely... Different with her. ...doing a 180 now. And, I mean, I don't know... I don't know, like, where his head's at. He's very disrespectful about it, too. Like, he's, there's one thing about having, you know, something on the side or whatever, but he's very disrespectful when he's going about it. Like, the like, whole eeny, meeny, miny, moe type of thing. That was, that was really fucked up. That was really, really bad. We all went like, <gasps> no, yeah. But they laughed. I saw it in the cooking challenge, him and Sienna, bro. So, like, Sienna was, like, trying to do her thing or whatever and, like, help cook. And, like, he kept pulling her in and she kept on letting herself <gasps> get pulled in. Like, pulled into his, like, grass. I haven't yeah. said or done anything No, I know it's, yeah. Since, like, we the first day. Me, honestly. I liked our playful banter. I'm glad you had a good day. Thank you. You just wait till I pop out with my date. We'll see. Then y'all all just gonna be like, he got us. I don't know about that. I'm playing. Well, I'm going right. outside. Probably gonna lift weights, so. I was just talking to Sienna. <laughs> and she was like, I definitely beat Josh. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, yeah. She goes, she goes, and then we made out a lot. I was like, oh my. I mean, like, if a girl wrote you a poem and, like, tried to kiss you, you probably would kiss her. I kind of think poems are good for you. <laughs> Corny. <laughs> I'm not here to compare dates. <laughs> That's not, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's not my goal. That's not my job on the show. It's to try to sit up and have a better date than Sienna. I tried to have a better date than, la than my last date. You feel me? Oh my god. My gosh. next date gotta come harder than the first. Here you go. Here you go. It was more like you like, you know what I'm saying? Don't hate to play, hate the game type stuff. You know what I'm saying? saying? That's what I'm saying. What up? Um <laughs> They said yesterday I was getting pretty close with Sienna in the game. In the game? Cooking game. Oh yeah, you were cuffed to her. That's what I was saying. I was <laughs> like, what? Yeah, you were cuffed. That's the whole purpose. That's you were, what I'm saying. You were linked to her. Like, what? What, what do they want me to do? <laughs> like, like, literally. Who said that? That's what's going to get started today now. I'm predicting it. Rylan said that. She just wanted to throw somebody up under the bus, low key. Look, why me? That's what I'm saying, because you're number one. Wait, Rylan was smart on That's what I'm and then, saying. And then, she, and then she was like, if Lexi saw everything Tyler does, then like she would not like have any interest in him. I'm like, I have not done anything since the first day. Hey. She's offing on me. The girls, everyone on op. Literally. Yeah, for sure. The boys got to step up. Like, the boys really got to step up. We got to beat the girls. Definitely beat the girls. 
I just like, I don't know. I feel like everyone here was like really cool. Like we were kind of like a little unit, like family. Oh, like everyone was vibing. Until like literally, well, the Choose game, obviously. I think that's when everyone was like, whoa, okay. I don't trust this person. I don't trust this person. I don't think anybody is trusting anybody at this point. I mean, my best advice to everyone Same. is to be very quiet. Very quiet with who you trust. Yeah. Um, and especially right now because, like, it's obvious people are airing out other things so they could still stay and everything and then have other people eliminated. Yeah. So it's just like, mm. I would just keep it to a minimum. I honestly feel like I'm going home tonight only because. I don't know, I want so much more time with Lexi, I do. But it's just, it's it's hard with so many people just wanting the same person and everything. So who do you guys think is gonna go home, a boy or a girl? I think a girl. I think so too. I think it might be one of the two up there. I don't know, I just like, I thought it'd be the best thing to do. You know, last night after I was almost eliminated. Um, so I was like, you know, cause she thinks that my intentions are with Sienna. Yeah. So I thought it'd be best to make it very clear that I don't want to be even like near her, hanging out with her, all that. And like, I mean, at the end of the day, she knows that we're friends, but I don't think we can be friends right now. Then I f***ing found out this morning that I guess her and Lexi had a weird thing, like a moment where she wrote her a poem. Yeah. And then that apparently yeah, they, they, they f***ing kissed. Yeah. yeah. So I went from like being like, okay, let me just separate from like my friend and like, I guess we just can't really talk right now. And like, now I'm just like, I can't even be this girl's friend. Like, I, I know you don't, you say you don't have feelings for her, but you care that they kissed or how, like what's, it's, like, what's the... It's more of that, yes, like yesterday, I was feeling so bad that I was like going to do anything to hurt Sienna and like make her jealous because I know she still has feelings for me. Um, and then she goes and hooks up with Lexi and I know she's not interested in her, so it's frustrating. Not only does it feel like I'm getting rejected by Lexi when I watch her go for Sienna, or but it's also like having someone, you know, Sienna who once had feelings for me, but like the girl that I also want. Ah, it's just weird. It's just really disappointing at this point that I don't think she cares about me at all. I think like you both need to decide like whether or not you care more about each other's friendship and each other or like getting Lexi. I don't care when Lexi is with all the other people here cause it's like, that's what she's here for. But it just like sucks cause like watching Lexi gravitate towards Sienna just kind of makes me feel, um, I don't know. What what was going on up there? They were just planning for her to move into the other room. She oh, another room? Into, yeah. Because she was moving into Closer's room. Did she I had even no tell clue you? that she was. Yeah, no, I, I found out in the middle when I was like, hey, is it cool if I move into Callista's room? Like, nothing, into, I just want to sleep in a bigger bed. Mm -hmm. And Jamie was like, sorry, I already did. I remember just some things said, I'm not repeating anything. I'm sad. I'm tired of spilling tea. But, oh God, yeah. what does that mean? Oh God. Know, some stuff was said and I was just like, okay. I don't want to be in the middle of this. If you hear or see them kissing and you're walking away and you're getting upset, like people are going to assume and make assumptions. No, you're right. You know, that it's like, oh, it's upsetting her, it's bothering her. And since you don't really get the chance to say like what's bothering you about, or, like what about it's bothering you, it just looks like you're jealous. How do you write a poem from something you don't know though? Like, I don't understand, like what, did you, what does she say in it? It was like, kind of like seducive. It was like, you know, like, Oh, I want to kiss her and see what's under her zip or something like that. I don't know. It was like seductive, yeah. I don't know. It's so weird. I don't know what to do. So Coach Anthony keeps giving me advice on what I should do in order to get Lexi to notice me. Um, since there's not really anything that I feel comfortable doing to express my feelings, I don't want to come on too strong and I don't want to do anything that'll make her uncomfortable. I feel like I just want to be able to talk to her and connect with her on a, such an intimate level that it's like we're in our sweatpants, yeah. we're looking disgusting, and there's no beautiful view that's making it magic. There's no beautiful outfits that's making it magic. It's just the connection. Yeah. It's just.
embrace the connection. This whole experience is for Lexi, and I want her to choose someone that's gonna make her happy. Whoever that is, you know. Do yes, you man. love bug? No, oh, it was a good. It was a good night. Look at her smooch. smiling already. Did you get a little smooch in there? Yeah, it was, it was a long smooch. A long smooch? A little smooch like sash. It? A long one? No, it was a little sash. She really liked the palm. She asked me to text it to her. Oh, that's How'd cute. she react, like, when you were reading it to her? I meant everything in it. Like, it was really... You could tell. It was really heartfelt. I'm learning that the competitive aspect I'm, like, lacking, and I'm just not a... Comp like, I'm not a competitive person. For me, it just always feels so forced, and I just want everything to be as natural and, and genuine as possible. So. No, definitely, definitely. I see yeah, that, too. But I... Yeah, I, I'm... I like the connection that we have. I just know Team Maddie over here is like struggling. We're, We're like struggling. on the thing. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Literally. Chipping, chipping, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. Good morning, daters. Good morning. It's now day five. How's everybody feeling? Good, good, good. 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 Well, a great way to tell how someone's feeling about you is through large romantic gestures, and of course, embarrassing themselves. And honestly, in this challenge could go either way. So I think y'all know already at this point that I have a huge soft spot for creativity and showing off your creative talent. So here's how it's gonna work for this challenge. You'll be given music tracks to choose from. You can sing, you can rap, you can dance, but I do want you guys to include some element of choreography as well as some props. And I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Immediately, as soon as I found out about this challenge, I am not happy about it at all. I've always been super passionate about music. I have just recently got into singing and songwriting and I have a couple songs like in the works. Let's not forget, Lexi's gonna be judging you based on creativity and talent, so you guys better come with it. Yeah. 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 All right, you have 90 minutes to pull this off, so grab a notebook and start creating. Do it! Do it. Side job by me. Yeah. One plus one equals two. Put two and two together, that would equal you. Yeah, this is trying so to crazy. <laughs> I actually play the recorder, bro. Watch this. I used to play It's like, I forgot everything. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Go ahead and read your lines. Go ahead and read your thing to it. No! I'm so shy. Go ahead and run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. I'll show you what I got. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so we're sitting down all trying to think about lyrics for the song and I look up and I look at Cammy and she's just sitting there not writing anything. I am just feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I have a lot of anxiety. It's just like written all over my face. I think I'm gonna have a really hard time in this challenge. Lexi, why are you so sexy? You cross my mind all the time. <laughs> So right now, I'm just trying to get all of our lyrics together, and Tyler is just sitting there not doing anything, and he thinks he's doing the choreography. He hasn't come up with anything. Uh, okay, I'll help you. What does that say? Douche? No, no, this is... No, does that say douche? This is dance. Dance. Oh my god, douche. You, you're a songwriter. I can't do it. I mean, I like, I'll help you. I'll help you. No, I was trying to choreograph yours. Oh, the performance part? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like. I've got sips because he actually gave me his lyrics. Now I got to get in the order. I throw away my shoes just to make you mine. Take you out in the spotlight just to let you shine. Okay. I give you all my time just to claim what's mine. No, you know no, what I'm no. <laughs> Can you just let that? him perform? I don't know why. I would. I'd be bringing the team down. Okay. I don't. That, you have to at least try. Try what? I don't know how to think of a song. Just think of it as like a poem. I don't know how to write poems. Like writing is not my thing. Like I'm telling you guys, it's not my thing. Grab my hand and follow me. So at that point, I might grab her hand and like twirl her or something. Can you at least like kind of try? Like just think of words, anything. I feel like you're starting to frustrate me because I already like said I'm not participating from the jump. Like it's not changing. And if you don't participate, then we're gonna lose, like, for real. That's fine, I'm sorry. I said that from the jump, I'm sorry. I feel as though her not participating in this, knowing that it is a group effort, is 
kind of selfish because she knows how it's going to display on our whole team. Mm -hmm. I like still got it. I'm actually mad. She just says she's done. Like she's not gonna embarrass herself for this challenge. She's not gonna do it. She's over it. And I look at Jasmine, we trying to figure out what we gonna do. I'm actually like annoyed. Like really f annoyed. Can I have 10 seconds to myself, please? Like in the bathroom, not 10 seconds, but I need yeah. time by myself. I feel really bad because I feel like there isn't really much of an understanding as to why I don't really want to participate in this challenge. Hey. Oh, coach. How's it going? It's going. Huh? It's going. Now, is it collaborative? Like, you guys are actually putting very together a song together. Is it collaborative, Tyler? Because I'm just doing his part. Yeah? Very collaborative. We're helping each other, I think, but we're all writing individually, and then we're going to mm -hmm. mash it all together and help each other with certain words. Yeah. OK. How's it going? Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> we, we working through some stuff. Checking on you all, making yeah. sure we're like, this is no problem. This is not, we're, we're missing a teammate. What's yeah, up? she said she's not doing it. She's like, we're trying to ask her if she could at least just dance in the background and we'll do the lyrics, and she just walked out. Who? She can't be. Can't be. Is she okay? She's, she just said she's not going to embarrass herself. And she doesn't want to do this. She's like, it's not her thing. She's not into it. She's over First off, embarrassment is a part of. <laughs> that, like, just roll with it. It's, not, it's really yeah. not that deep, honestly. Love like, is embarrassing. Here, yeah. Putting yourself out there is embarrassing. And, like, we switched up the flow because I told her, like. She's right here. I don't know. She's you can talk to her when she comes down. Cami, I noticed Camille was checked out, so I'm going to go check on her and make sure that she's okay. So you weren't down here when I came downstairs. Are we not feeling the exercise? Are we not feeling the people in the house? Are we not feeling Lexi anymore? I don't know. I'm just not feeling the exercise, and I, and I don't want to participate for my, own, for my own reasons. And I don't want to feel pressure. If I decide I don't want to do it, I'm just not going to do it. Energetically, right? We're saying one thing, but I feel like emotionally, it's coming from a different place. I'm, I'm more or less just triggered by the idea of the performance, and that's why I don't want to do it. We're a team. And so I know you feel like, well, this is a personal experience that you're having and maybe other people can't understand or relate. So you're trying to do what's best for your mental health. However, you're a very strong contender and I feel like what you have to contribute is your life. I'm not happy about it at all. It just kind of took me back to a place of performing that I didn't really wanna even being in that moment. You said you used to perform when you were little. Mm -hmm. So if we used to perform, tell me why this is triggering for you. Something had to happen. Yeah, so just, there are just, you know, things that happened like throughout my childhood with, you know, the whole performance part of things that deterred me away from having the confidence when performing. You're like, I'm just not gonna perform. Mm -hmm. Can we get a clap? Yeah, I can clap, but I'm not performing. No, I'm not performing in any way, shape, or form. They can get a clap, though. Whatever we can do, whatever you feel comfortable with doing, um, your team will appreciate. Okay. I feel really guilty that I'm not able to contribute to the best of my ability. And I know that throughout this game, my team members have showed up for me and has helped us to take the wins. And also just makes me feel like they're gonna look at me a little differently, which is not what I want. Okay, what are we doing? We have 10 minutes, we have no idea what we're doing. And we will connect from the first meet. Ah, oh, get out. What's the problem? What's the matter? Too much drama, too much happening. Every moment, like a bomb. I've been trying to keep calm, but you drop me up a wall. Four wheels, fast car driving off. Let me hold it in before I tell it all. You ain't bad. What's up, guys? Hey. hey! How did that go? How do you feel about this challenge? Good. Good. All right, with that being said, I would like to see Team Spicy Mari's team first. I'm really excited to see right. Come on, guys. Tell them what you got. This goes out to Lexi. Our little country girl. I'm going to make it out the farm with this one. Come on, little Lolly. I'll throw away my shoes just to make it mine. Take you out in the spotlight just to let you shine. I give you all my love just to see you smile. And I give you all my time just to claim what's mine. I go vegan in a heartbeat. I know we were connected.
it from the first meet. Three minutes ain't enough, but you were so sweet. Like a diamond in the rough, you were my queen. I remember it all, like we both from NC. You have a lot of allergies, nuts, dairy, red meat. We both did track, but we have slow feet. And we both in the field, cause you know we like the heat. Yeah, my ride slide. So why don't you swipe right on me tonight? Honestly, I was a little aggravated, but I don't care too much just because at the end of the day, somebody got to go home. So Cammy don't want to do nothing. That's fine. Go home. I'll do everything. I'll put in the work. I'll get my little shine on, show that what I can do and how much I like Lexi. Guys, that was literally so sweet. Um, Josh, you did amazing. Thank I mean, you. you all did amazing, but I was so <laughs> impressed how you were able to memorize that entire song. It's um, easy when it comes to you. <laughs> did great. Thank you. At this point, I'm more worried about myself than my team just because um, in the end of the day, she's not dating our whole team. She's dating individually. But I'm trusting my team. They got it. Yeah. Every day I wake up, you're all that I see. Say the word and I'll take you to Paris. All these people lying, lo siento, baby. All of them between us, don't worry, my shit. Yeah. Lexi, why are you so sexy? You cross my mind all the time. Freckles and blonde hair, can't help but stare. Never met a girl so rare. Wondering when I get the chance to make you mine. I know it'll happen in due time. When I met her, got the white dress, never looked better. Whether or not she would be mine. Mm. Making my way, trying to be time. Mm. Said her name Lexio, oh, she's better than the rest of me. I'm not trying to make my bestie, so now she gotta test me. Woo! Okay. Hey. Oh, hi. I'm not gonna lie. When you catch my eye, really feels like you can read my mind. Agree with the thoughts inside. I take your sight, cause damn, last night pulling up sheets, trying to hide. Baby, we don't even try. You know I'm the main. No, I'm not your side. <laughs> Can't help but move my feet to the shaky damn heat. <laughs> you got me feeling myself. I don't need Anthony's help. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, all right. I'm not a chaser, but you got me chasing. Don't wear my heart on my sleeve, but I'll let you take it. Although we haven't got a date yet, I hope you can see when you're with other people that that should be me. And that's the end of our rap, so I'll take a bow. And I hope you enjoyed it, because I'm flipping out. <laughs> Guys, that was so special. I like that you all worked together as a team. Everybody had something to say. Everybody had a part. You guys all did so good. I could see you put a lot of effort into this, and I'm really proud of you all. Everyone, everyone, like seriously, give yourself a round of applause, seriously. Woo! That was, that was really impressive, but I do have to make a decision on the winning team, and ultimately who I will be taking on a date from the winning team. So I think this team deserves to win because I could tell that they put in a lot of teamwork, a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, um, and I loved a lot of the components of their, their songs. So for those reasons, Team Anthony wins! <laughs> So Cam did wind up clapping for the competition, but she didn't say anything. She didn't participate enough for it to count and we didn't win. But yeah. that's not all. I do have to pick who I'm going to go on my next date with. And I'm picking this person because I feel like I haven't gotten a lot of quality time with them yet. And I really want to get to know them more. For those reasons, I'm going to pick Cyprian. I'm so stoked, you have no idea. She just said my name. I, I'm turning red, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm anxious, I got 20 million emotions going through my head, but all I know is that I cannot fumble this date. So I'm excited to go on a date with you, Cyprian, so go ahead, go get ready, and I'll meet you inside. Woo, okay, Ultimately, the other team ends up winning. Camille's one of my besties here. I I get her mood swing, but I feel like at least what she could have done was not having to give us attitude with the whole thing that she's going through. I wonder what this date's gonna be. Me too. 
<laughs> it's in the kitchen, so. so I gotta it up. What oh is this? This is for baking? Yeah. This for looks so baking. good. No, this looks so fun. Wait. There's a card. There's a card. Do you want to read it? I'll read it, I'll read it. Lexi and Sip. Roses are red, sugar is sweet, baking together is a romantic treat. <laughs> This is actually really cute. And I know you like artsy stuff too, so we really have creative freedom for all this. We got this shit. I know, I know, I'm excited, let's do it. Okay, wait, there's another letter actually. Is there a recipe or something? Because I don't know how to do this. Wow. I don't know how to bake. Oh, 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 okay. The recipe. <laughs> sugar cookies. Vegan, Vegan nut free sugar, sugar cookies. cookies. Ah! I love cookies and I love sweet things and so, Baking vegan sugar cookies with like a cute boy. Oh my gosh, sign me up. I'm, I'm like actually so excited right now. You know what's actually hella funny? My mom's a, my mom's a chef. Really? Yeah. We're gonna get, we're gonna get messy. Yeah, down in, <gasps> oh. Here, wait. Do you wanna help me? Yeah, we're... Thank you. Yeah, get them, get their hair. This is good right here? Yeah. Okay. That. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> I'm, actually Wait, I'm really excited. excited. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're about to decorate some cookies. I can't remember the last time I even did that, but I know it's about to be so fun and so cute. I got a couple ideas in my head. I cannot wait. Let's do this. I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> we are professionals at this. Can't help to assume. Tell me I love you. Am I doing this right? Thank you. Giving up and saying with her. What I do, you so what's your favorite thing that your mom cooks? My mom and my grandma, they have this like pie that they make from like generation to generation. Yeah. And it's this apple pie. And it's from that I don't know if you know no. what that means. But it's like, you know how in a regular apple pie, it's like all the apples are on top of the pie? Yeah. And then for this one, it's like a flipped one where like it's the crust on top and like caramelized apples really on the bottom. So that does sound really good. How's your relationship with your family? I, I'm really lucky. I have really supportive parents. They were very supportive of me. My mom and I, she's really close with me now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard because she lives in another country and I'm sure you like get that because you have family in other countries. Yeah, my parents are actually moving away. Are you serious? Where? To France, back really? to France. So I'm about to be here alone. I get it, it's like not easy. But the most important though, is that it, as long as you have a strong support system, and like, they, your parents they obviously like, are really close to you, right? They yeah. understand like. 100%. Yeah, I always see you talking to your mom. I and am that, a that's mommy's important boy. To me. Yeah, that's important to me. I give you extra respect points for what you're doing because yeah. being really open and really accepting everyone for who they are, and then you're taking them on extra dates and you're like really getting to know them and you're giving everyone like a fair chance. Yeah. He's really like attractive. I'm like very much attracted to him. Um, and I think that this has been a really good date so far. Oh, look how cute that is! That is really cute. I oh, like that. Oh, like, look. That's so cute. That is really cute. I'll yeah, put it for you. Thank you. Let's put these on a baking sheet because okay. I feel like they're ready to go in the oven. Yes. I feel like we make a really good team. Nah, we do. Look at us. We're actually doing it. Yeah, I'm like in first fire. I thought, like, the cookies are looking like not too bad, too. No, I know. How do you say heart in Spanish? Corazón. Corazón. Y en francés. Encore. Encore. Okay, are we gonna put these in the. Okay. Ah. So excited. Great high five. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? It's good. I like it. How was that? I think you missed a little bit. Oh my god. I'm literally on cloud nine. She's kissing me, we're kissing. It is perfect. There's a little lip biting, a little tongue action, you know. You're a really good kisser. You can't get me in trouble. It's the French flair. What the f say? It's a French kiss. Isn't that what's supposed yeah. to be? Mm -hmm. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> On with the cooking. <laughs> oh. Wait. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. Mama. Sprinkle Mommy. <laughs> that was cheesy. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it though. That's fine. <gasps> Look at that. Look marshmallow. Here, here, you make one. Which one should I make? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you went on this date. I'm glad I picked you. Because I feel like a lot more connected to you right now. Me too. I'm glad we actually had really good conversations too about your family and stuff. I know, I know it's important to you. Your plans for the future. Your plans. I want to know more about that. Maybe we'll have to have another day. conversation, something like that. Another day, another oh my conversation. God, you're so cute. I can't. Bye. That was fun. <laughs> Adios. Hey guys. Hey, beautiful. Hey. Do you think I could talk to you for a second? Yeah. yeah. I just have something I need to talk to you guys about. Uh, it's pretty serious. I'm like, I, I, I don't usually get nervous, but she's making me really nervous. Oh no, I'm in for something. I'm in for something here. So, normally around this time, and we'd be getting ready for an elimination round, but I decided I was gonna do things a little bit differently today. So, because of that, tonight we're gonna have a beach luau and there's no elimination round. There's no elimination round tonight. There's no elimination round tonight. Oh. Elimination oh. Round tonight. Oh. <laughs> so please, please go get ready. Put on, put on your bathing suits, get ready, get, get dressed, because we're gonna have some fun tonight. We're gonna party. Are you guys ready? <laughs> My heart just like, whew, like, just relief, complete relief, because I was in elimination last night and I was a little worried about tonight. Now we have this night to all hang out and have a good time together and not worry about someone going home. I'm ready to turn up tonight, man. They just told us it was no elimination, so I'm feeling good, I'm feeling blessed, I'm feeling great, I'm gonna go out there, have a great time, turn up, no worries on me. There's a limbo bar as well, and one of my only skills is being a contortionist, so of course, this is my time to shine. I think that this will give me a lot of extra needed time to get to know the remaining daters. Hey. Has Cammy talked to you already? Nah. She's planning on going home. Today? She didn't even want to come to the party. Hey guys. What's up? What's up? Hey. What? what did we interrupt? Did we interrupt? No, you could come in. You could come in. You're What's cracking? What's happening? It's actually, what's this? We're not <laughs> sure of it. So, I'm at this little luau, and I'm excited. I'm ready to dance, but. I don't see Cammy, and that worries me. Oh my god, do you know where Cammy is? She's upstairs. Is she okay? I don't know. Is she like packed? No, where's Cammy? She already packed. No way. But do you think she's gonna leave tonight? I don't know. I really don't know. I tried talking to her. I told her to think about everything before she decides to say something. After the whole competition, I go upstairs to check up on Cammy because she seemed not herself. But as I was going, I see her packing her bags and just completely listening to really sad music. I knew immediately there was something wrong, but as someone that loves her very much, whatever she decides at the end of the day, I'm going to support her, especially when it comes down to her mental health. elimination tonight but I'm seeing these suitcases here and I'm wondering what's up. Dating someone new often means that you're gonna have to learn about their past baggage. 
I am pretty nervous, but I also want to know the tea on everyone and their secrets. I know everyone got secrets, um, so I'm excited. So, I like to call this little game that we're about to play baggage claim. <laughs> oh, okay. Inside of these bags are items of clothing that have secrets written on them oh. about each and every single one of you. Oh. So, normally you guys are the ones playing the game, getting to have all the fun. I get to have the fun this time. Okay. So okay. I'm going to be opening the bags, reading the secrets on the items of clothing, and it's my job to match who I think a secret is about to one of you. Sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. When I think I know, I will kiss the individual who I think the secret's about. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Say what? Hey, Say what? Okay. I am hoping that Lexi thinks all the secrets are mine, so I'm the only one getting kisses. So are you guys ready to get started? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I think I'm gonna start with this suitcase right here. Oh, nice. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. So this t-shirt says, I've never been in love. Okay, I think this one's about work. Was I right? Who wants to claim it? No. No, okay. Like it's not my secret, but I hope she continues to guess wrong because then I can get more kisses. Yes. Does anyone want to step forward and claim the secret? No one wants to step forward and claim it? Okay. Moving on. I kind of dropped the ball. The first one I didn't know was my secret. I forgot what I wrote down. No. Get this closer. Oh my gosh. The shirt says. I turned down hooking up with a famous rapper. Well, several. Um, okay. Everyone close their eyes. Everyone close their eyes. Mm, 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 mm. She comes up to me and she kisses me. Ah, but I didn't know she was going to kiss me. So, I didn't kiss her back. Did I did I get that right, Rylan? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> that was good. That was, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, it was cool. She kissed me. Big bag. Big baggage. It says, I am terrified of caterpillars. They actually haunt my dreams. What are these dreams? Was I right? No, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, wait, it was you, it was you? Are you scared of caterpillars? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I said, I farted on a date, blamed it on the chair, but they knew I was lying. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um. Was I right? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it says, I hooked up in all of my roommates' beds. Anyone wanna let out their baggage? That was you. Oh my gosh. Interesting, do they know? Now they do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I want to like kiss her actually, like real kiss, but um, we'll get there, we'll get there. So I've decided that I'm gonna sit down and let them know that I'm leaving tonight. I don't really know how the reactions are gonna go. So I just want to take the time to talk to you today. Um, I think that this experience has been like really, really fun. And I'm like so grateful to have met you and everybody else. And you really are like a beautiful soul inside and out. Thank you. Um, but I just feel like this experience for me is like time to come to a close. And I'm really sad to go, but I just think it's best for me to, to leave okay. the competition. Yeah. I feel as though the connection that me and Lexi have built has been great. And I appreciate all the time that we did get to spend together, but I just don't feel like personally it our connection's gonna flourish into anything else. Okay. And I just wanted to take the time to talk to you because obviously like 
I enjoy getting to know you and you're again such a sweet person but How are you? thank you I appreciate it but I just don't I don't think that you know it it's just fair for me to be here anymore if I just don't see the connection going anymore okay yeah so I'm gonna give this to you okay. um, you can, can I read this later yes read it later I no, just want you to know I respect your decision I appreciate you communicating with me yeah. I'm sad to see you go because yeah. I think you're super dope thank you but I understand yeah um, I know it's a lot yeah this is a lot it is um, so I hope that you find what you're looking for not here I get that yeah but I, I want to stay connected for sure yeah because you seem course. you seem you're like an awesome person thank you I, mean, I really Safe, okay? Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Camille, beautiful soul. She wasn't feeling like this was the right place for her. She wasn't feeling a connection with me. I respect that so much. She spoke her truth and she did what she felt like she had to do. I have learned a lot about myself over these past couple of days. I think that some of the lessons and things that I've learned from this show really will help me to be a better person in the real world and to others and that's just something to be super grateful for. I'm gonna be going home tonight, mm -hmm. but I love you all, and I hope I keep in touch with everybody. You guys are all yeah. amazing, yeah. so bring it in and give me some hugs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you, I'm gonna miss you. Oh my God. I love you so I love much, Rylan. I had recently just got really close with her throughout this experience, so I'm really, really sad that she's leaving us. Now there's no elimination. Someone's still going home. There's always something. I gotta give you hugs last. It's gonna make me cry. Oh my god. Oh, you're awesome. I know, that's fun. Give me another hug. Last we'll be in touch. Go. We'll be in touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Seriously. I will. Yeah, as soon as I get out of here. Yeah, I will. Yeah, my little pumpkin. I love you. Okay. Um, yeah. I love you so much, Kemi. You're the bestie. You're my the bestest freaking roommate I've ever had. And I'm gonna miss you a lot. Now there's there's a little something special for you upstairs in your bed, okay? Uh, you read it whenever I leave. I'm gonna cry. All right. <laughs> I love you. Have fun, guys. Turn it up. Right. Live your best you. lives, alrighty? Bye. Bye. I feel like by me leaving the house, I am able to open the door for all the rest of the contestants to have more opportunity to spend time with Lexi, to go and have a deeper connection with her, and for Lexi, most importantly, to truly find that special someone. I love you, Jasmine. If you ever get to see this, you're the sweetest person ever. Lexi, I'm so grateful to have met someone like you. Thank you guys so much for an amazing experience and for accepting me for who I am. So I was really excited for this party to happen because it was, like, I just wanted everyone to have a really good fun night. But at some point during the night, I see Sienna like start crying. I didn't really know what that was about. Rylan tells me that Tyler like has made Sienna upset. Like, it's almost like he wants me to say that he's being a douche to me. Just like he's just not being respectful. So I asked him, I was like, what's going on between you and Sienna? Cause I'm just like wondering around. He was like, oh, I'm just talking. And he like wouldn't tell me anything else. I don't think everyone has seen what happens when there aren't cameras around, what Tyler says to me or when it's just what he whispers to me, but I'm not really with it. I didn't even I didn't even want to like bring up the that he has said to me, but like it's the point where it's like just like stupid boy sh it's not it's like about my body, it's just annoying. Today, so we're doing rehearsal things and she's nowhere to be found. So then she comes down, I'm like, what were you doing? She's like, I was putting a bra on. And I was like, why? She was like, because my boobs are hanging out. And I was like, I don't think anyone would care. Well, she said that you said it kind of differently. No, I was being legit. Hurry up, Sienna. I had to get this. He made me go up and get this. Sienna really thinks I'm still flirting with her after I have tried to 
Like, I've even called her my sister today multiple times. Like, like I don't understand, like, like no. Jamie said I haven't been. So I was like, okay, cool. This is a very immature environment for me. And honestly, this is disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have to be around Tyler. Like, it, it's not like, what's, uh, this isn't cool for me. And I don't take it and everyone, everyone sees it and I'm over it. And it is absolutely a reason to leave because I respect myself more than that. Okay. I didn't even care about the, the comment, but he also just like won't even own it. At least take accountability for it just because it's stupid. And which is so funny considering he was not doing anything helpful to our team. I wrote his Lexi, I wrote his lyrics. No, he just tries to cause problems for every scenario. Mm -hmm. Like it's a certain point where I'm like, yeah, this kid's entertaining. Yeah, he's, he's funny. funny. He's funny. Sometimes he's likable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I don't. I'm not gonna be around it. And I'm not gonna be like choose him or me. But I'm gonna choose me or that situation. I ain't shook the city in a minute. Been a long time. Long time. Have a big deal. <laughs> This is honestly so much harder than I thought it would be. What if I'm making the wrong decision? This is such not a big deal that is being made a big deal. I said, I don't want you to get canceled. So let's handle this in big girl, big boy ways. This is really hard. I don't like this at all. 